Hey, hey, what's up Camp Nerd fans? This is Ian here in the camp and today we're coming back with another tutorial using the WPF material design themes and this time we are going back and we're going on the cards but I'm going to teach you how to create a clock in the card so that way it gives you that cool uh effect look with the drop shadow in the back and everything and so what we're going to do is we're just going to get straight into it and uh as we're getting into it if you are a new uh viewer on this channel and you would like to join the camp nerd family be sure to hit the subscribe button and also be sure to hit the like button if you like my tutorials all the likes lets me know that y'all love what i'm doing and it helps support me in knowing what i need to do with this channel we are a family we are a community so your feedback is greatly appreciated and also be sure to read the description there may be some things that you may not know that you may want to know and if you got any questions or comments leave them in the comment section below and i will try to answer them as soon as i get them all right so instead of doing a new uh uh, project and going through and adding the material skins and everything like that I already have it in and now if you're at this point and you're wanting to do this and you have not seen uh, how to install the material design thing nougat package then go back to the video of uh, uh, ma uh, the material design themes in WPF and C sharp that's the tutorial that gets you to where we are at now Okay, so for all the ones that already has it installed, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be doing the same thing is we're going to be doing a uh, card. So what we need to do is do the material, uh, the material design, and then it's going to be a card. And then with this, we're going to do a uh, vertical alignment of center and a horizontal alignment of center and then we're going to do the material design this is going to be the shadow assist and this is going to be the shadow depth and we're going to go to five which is the darkest one that you can have and then what we're going to do is we're going to close that off and then uh, we'll be sure to close it off uh, properly, like so. And then be sure not to have any extras or anything like that in there. All right, so since we have this point, what we need to do is we need to add a stack panel, like so. And within this stack panel, we are going to have an orientation of horizontal and a margin of 16. You can use whatever number you want. Uh, I just use 16 because it's a lot easier for me. It's a even number. So since we have that, we want to add, uh, you can add icons or whatnot. I'm just going to add a clock icon to this so it'll be... A uh, little bit snazzier, I guess you could say. So we're going to do a pack icon and it's going to be a kind of the clock outline. You can use uh, icon if you want. You don't have to use it. It's not required for this. And then we're going to do a height of 64 and a width of 64 as well. And then we're gonna come over here and uh, we're just going to close that off like that. You see that the icon pops up, okay? Now, what we're going to do is add a text block. All right, now within this text block, we are going to define the name so we can actually call it in the code and it's going to be x name 
txt clock you can name it whatever you want and also another way to uh, name this is if you go to the properties and up here where it says name you just type in txt clock it'll come down and put it right there whatever you want to name it it does not have to be txt clock all right so now what we're going to do is we're going to add some parameters to it and we are going to put a margarine of 16 0 16 0 uh just some uh, it kind of gives you a centered uh type thing uh so you don't have to do like the vertical alignment horizontal alignment and stuff like that which is we are going to do it but it just kind of gives a, a a formal thing so on the text wrapping and this is going to be a no wrap all right, then we're just going to go ahead and do our vertical alignment center and then our horizontal alignment center. And then once we have that, if you notice there's nothing there, you can leave it blank. But if you come in between the open closing uh, text block brackets, you can just put time so that way it signifies. Uh, where you can see that and this is going to be for this next part because we're going to do the font size of 16 so that way it will give us uh, a good font size to where we can see it now this is pretty much the design from here now if we save this and if we run it you'll notice that it comes up and it'll give you the outline of the card, the shadow backdrop, the icon, and then it just has time. What we're gonna do is we're gonna change that time to the actual time and date, uh, everything, the whole nine yards. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to your main window.xaml.cs or whatever you have it named, and you want to add a using statement. So using system dot windows dot threading. And then also if it seems like I'm rushing through this, uh, I've actually got to be uh, in a meeting in about 10 minutes. So that's why I'm rushing on this video. But I'm also trying to keep it uh less than 10 minutes uh gonna try to because that will uh kind of boost my ratings because i notice i've been rambling on a lot with my videos and the tutorials are really 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 long so i'm trying to keep it in depth and on to the point instead of chasing rabbits all right so uh which one do is you want to come to your uh public partial class and with this you are going to add uh system dot windows dot threading dot uh it's gonna be dispatcher timer so dispatcher timer and then we are going to name that timer equals new dispatch timer and we're going to do that right there now under the initialize components we need to actually create uh, the wire so we can have the timer tick method put in so what we're going to do here is we're going to define some uh, logic to uh, the timer dot tick and this is also going to be an event handler. And then it's, uh, we're going to define it ourselves. You can name it whatever you want it to be. Uh, like so. And I need to put new right there. So it'll be a new event. And we'll define that method here in a minute, so don't worry about that underlying uh, squiggly. So it's timer dot interval equals new time span, and this is going to be 
zero 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 one and then we're going to call the timer dot start like so all right now we have that wired up so now we can do our method and then this will uh this right here will give the event to where it'll actually make the clock and everything appear. So on this, we want to do date time, and we're just going to name it date. And then date equals date time dot now. And we're going to close that off. Now here, if you remember what we labeled over here, TXT clock, that's what we're going to be referencing right here. So it's going to be TXT clock dot text equals date dot. And then we're going to do the too long time stream. All right. And then we're just going to close that off. And then we're going to do a plus and then space that out plus space that out you don't have to do it so many times how i'm doing it but i'm doing it just because it's easier and it's simple and i'm going in with the flow right now so then you want to do date dot and then two long date string and then you're going to close that off with your open and close braces and uh well, I don't know why I said braces. Those are your uh, parentheses, open and close in parentheses. And then now we have efficiently wired everything to where you start the project. It'll come up and it will give you the time, the day, and the date. Now, if you uh, wanted it done a certain way, you can actually go through and do it piece by piece. And if you would like to see how to do it piece by piece by doing date dot hour, date dot seconds, uh, date dot minutes, and then date dot two string, and then in the uh, parentheses with quotation marks, you have TT for the AM PM. That is the date time format. And if you would like to see more on the date time formats on how to do some pretty cool things uh, like this, what we just done in our tutorial, then be sure to hit that like button. Leave a comment below in the comment section saying you want to see more about the date time formats. And also, be sure to read the description because there may be some things that you don't know that you may want to uh, know about. And also, we are going to be uh, putting up uh, the website hopefully on Monday with all the Keep It Nerdy merchandise as far as uh, hoodies, mugs, bags, t-shirts, uh, pajamas, things like that. And so before we actually get everything done, which is that's what I've got to do today, is I've actually got to uh, be on the phone at 12 o'clock, which is like two minutes, as you can see from here. Well, actually a minute and three seconds now, but I'm going to end with this so I can get on the phone. And remember, this is Ian here in the camp. And as always, keep it nerdy, guys, and I'll see y'all in the next tutorial. Oh,